Right here, I am standing in the centre of Ulaanbaatar city, and this is where our travel will begin. The statue in front is dedicated to the memory of General D. Subbata, who was the main factor and the leader of Mongolia's independence. The main square of Ulaanbaatar is named Subbata Square and is a popular meeting destination for tourists. In 1946, this statue was built to dedicate the general's great honour. To protect him, you can see there are 14 white lines that are connected with chains. These 14 lines are his forever loyal protectors and it expresses strength. Behind me you can see Parliament House and in front of it there is a statue of one of Mongolia's most powerful leaders, Chinggis Khan. Khan was the king of the Mongol Empire who ruled half the world and Euro-Asia. The enormous marble construction at the North End was completed in 2006, in time for the 800th anniversary of Chinggis Khan's coronation. For many Mongolians, it is hard to imagine this city without several of their great historical leaders surrounding them. Looking to the west side of the city, you can explore some other main landmarks including the UB Governor's House, the Mongolian Stock Exchange Building and the Central Post Office. Then looking to the east, you will find some incredible cultural gems, including the biggest and main cultural houses such as the Cultural Centre, the National Modern Art Gallery, the State Opera House and Ballet Theatre. Here you can also get some shopping and eating done with plenty of five-star hotels, brand malls and traditional and international restaurants. Mm -hmm. 